Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Welcome to the best Bloodsy skincare of 2021. QR Queen make body yada 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 yada. I mean, you can't see from down here, but my booty is shaking. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best body skincare products I have found over the course of this last year. And if you're not familiar with my best of videos that I do at the end of the year, I try so many products and narrow them down to the best, the ones I am most confident recommending to you guys in an effort to make it easier for you when you are shopping for some skincare and don't know what the hell to get. As I start this video, I wanna say I am so sorry about the delay in posting videos. It has been a crazy, crazy month. I was traveling, I've been moving houses, I got food poisoning and I wrecked my car. <laughs> and so I apologize about the delay on these videos. I promise I have been trying to film so much, but you know, it's, you know, life happens. Sometimes it gets wild. There are so many different types of products that I'm going to get into in this video that I'm so excited to share with you guys because some of these, well, I've never talked about before. And second of all, I just freaking love using. They just make my day better. So let's get into it. As we get into this video, I want to say if you are interested in getting any of these products, they are all linked in the description box below. These links are affiliate links that helps to support me and my channel. And just given the workload of testing out so many products and putting my skin through hell in order to find the best ones, if you would use those links when shopping, I would really, really appreciate it. But no pressure whatsoever. I never want to put pressure on you guys. But if you do happen to be interested in purchasing any of these, feel free to use those links as a resource. All right, let's go. Okay, I have all the products here. What should I start with. Let's start with the product type that has been used a lot this year because if you didn't know girl we're in a little bit of a pandemic Lovato. We've all been using hand sanitizer over this last year and hand sanitizer can be really harsh on the skin because it dries it out it strips it out and we have all been through that miserable experience of using the free hand sanitizer that they provide at stores and feeling like your hands are the personification of Death Valley. So I have two hand sanitizers that I want to recommend that I have been using over this last year. One that I have been using for a while, really since the pandemic started or shortly after it started. And the other one I recently found that I'm in love with. First is the Biosance Squalene Hand Sanitizer. This one I have really grown to love simply because of how moisturizing it is. It's a gel consistency that doesn't feel like it's stripping or dehydrating your skin. I mean, it's alcohol. When it comes to alcohol, it's always gonna dry out the skin. But in comparison to other hand sanitizers I've used, this feels a lot more hydrating and just really pleasant on the skin. I love Biosance because all their products include the ingredient Squalene. And this specific formula has glycerin and Squalene, which are amazing for helping to retain moisture, make sure that your skin stays properly hydrated. And I believe it comes in a bigger size too. And I understand that you're like, Hiram, it's just hand sanitizer. Why would you need to spend more than a dollar on hand sanitizer? I feel you. But at the same time, with the amount of hand sanitizer that I use on a daily basis, like when I have to go out and go grocery shopping or run errands or anything like that, I will use hand sanitizer like 10 times a day, which is a lot of exposure to drying alcohol. So I do want to make sure that the hand sanitizer I'm using is not like you know, totally terrible, which is why I am a fan of this one. Now, along with the drying strip sensation we feel, we also have to note one horrible thing about hand sanitizer, the smell. I remember back in the pre-pandemic days, using hand sanitizers from say like Bath and Body Works and being greeted with a delightful smell versus when the pandemic started and companies just started mass producing hand sanitizer, using it the first time, getting that strong whiff of alcohol and almost projectile vomiting in my car due to flashbacks of me over the toilet throwing up from too much vodka. Yeah. And if you're someone who's like, I absolutely hate the smell of alcohol, of hand sanitizer, it makes me nauseous, same girl. But I found a solution. This was actually recommended to me by my manager because the first time I used it, I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. It is the Sol de Janeiro spray hand sanitizer. Now, Sol de Janeiro is a brand where, I'm just gonna be honest, their products smell like a vacation. I remember the first time hearing Jaclyn Hill talk about Sol de Janeiro. I went to Sephora, I smelled it, and I was instantly captivated and felt like I was on a tropical beach with a beautiful man. But to be honest, I haven't really found a lot of their products that I would like feel comfortable recommending just because of how much fragrance they do use. However, in a hand sanitizer, it is one of those things that I am more willing to compromise because of how quickly it dissolves and just because of the god awful hand sanitizer smell. It has that classic Sol de Janeiro scent. It is a bit bougie, I will say. However, I do like having this with me on the go to use from time to time. It's not my primary hand sanitizer, but it is one that I kind of like treat myself with where I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to smell a little nice. I don't want to projectile vomit. And this one is great. If you're looking for a good smelling hand sanitizer, this is the one. Also to preface this, I know a lot of you guys may be like, Hiram, free. Fragrance, I thought you hated fragrance. 
okay, whoa, I was channeling way too much of high school drama classes in that. I apologize. I personally don't have a problem with fragrance in body products because your body is a lot more resilient than your face is. You're a lot less likely to see skin sensitivity unless you have an underlying condition or a diagnosed skin condition from a dermatologist. And in that case, I would say it's best to not use products that are full of fragrance for your body. However, for me personally, because my body is a lot more resilient, never notice any sensitivity, and the likelihood of seeing sensitivity from fragrance is very, very, very low, I feel comfortable recommending it. Now, along with those, I have to recommend a hand cream because along with using all the hand sanitizer, our hands get really dry and it is necessary that we use a cream in order to renourish, renourish, is that a word? Nourish the skin, moisturize it, and really protect your hands. And I've tried so many hand creams this year and none of them compare to what my favorite hand cream has always been, the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Hand Cream. This one has been my favorite, well, really since I was like in high school, honestly. I used to have this issue where I would get really bad eczema on my hands and they would crack and bleed and it wasn't cute. And I was always looking for something that could protect my hands from that happening. And when I discovered this hand cream, everything changed. It was like magic on my skin. I've always recommended this as a hand cream and as I've continued to use it throughout this year, it has not failed to impress me. It really is an incredible formula and compared to so many other hand creams where I use them and I feel like I have to reuse them over and over and over throughout the day in order to keep my hands moisturized, I honestly only have to use this once or twice a day and my hands are completely fine. It's a great one, super affordable. You can find it at so many different drugstores. Highly, highly recommend. We all want a nice sensorial experience in the shower for the minute that we're washing our body. And there are two body washes that I have loved using over this past year. The first one is the Hey Humans Apple Matcha Body Wash. I believe they originally sent me one of these, I think, or maybe I was just shopping at Target and picked one of these up. I don't know, it looked really interesting because of the sustainable packaging. I love that they use aluminum because aluminum is able to be easily recycled, but this cleanser is lovely. The first reason I love it is because it's very gentle. A lot of body cleansing products can tend to be pretty stripping. They feel like your skin is really dry and tight afterwards because they cleanse so deeply. And a lot of times I'm not looking to cleanse my body that much, especially like when I I wake up in the morning and I know that like, I just, you know, need to cleanse my body from the night before and I'm not like, you know, washing mud off my skin. I just need something gentle and moisturizing and this one is great for that. I love how nourishing it feels on the skin, but at the same time, it does kind of froth up a little so you know where you're cleansing easily. And I have to say the fragrance is amazing. I remember when I first got this one and I shared it with my team, they were all smelling it and everyone was like, oh my God, this smells so good. It smells bomb, it has gentle surfactants and also ingredients like glycerin and jojoba oil to nourish the skin. And when you're finished with the bottle and properly cleansed it like in a dishwasher, you can even reuse it as like a water bottle or something, you know, to store liquids. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. You can reuse it for a bunch of different things or recycle it with minimal waste. And you can find this at pretty much every Target, I believe. They have this at Targets everywhere. It's a great affordable one. I have loved using it and will continue to use it. The other body cleanser is one that I've talked about before. And I will say this is definitely bougie. This is a little bit luxury, but it comes with a backstory. It is the Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Shower Gel. This has been my friend all year long. Even when I'm traveling, I will bring it with me or I will buy a new one because I love this one. But here's the backstory. When I was in high school, we moved into a new house and they had a tiny little one of these. I'm talking, it was like tiny, like hotel version, one of this orange and bergamot shower gel. The previous owners had left it. It probably wasn't the best idea for me to use it, but hey, a bitch was broke. So I decided to use it and I was immediately captivated by the experience and primarily the smell. I felt so luxurious using this body wash and that tiny little thing I made last like a year, I made it last so long. And it's because a tiny little bit of this body cleanser goes a long way. You don't have to use very much and the way it smells, bruh. It smells so fancy. It honestly kind of smells like a, like a citrus cocktail. And every time I use this in the shower, I am just re-energized. I feel ready to start the day. I feel great. It's, it's a lovely experience. And I know it definitely is expensive, but considering that I made that tiny little thing last for so long, I think that's a testament to how long a bottle like this would last and how much money is worth you'd get from it. So if you want to splurge, I highly, highly recommend this one. I do want to say though, if you are someone whose body is really sensitive to fragrance, there are some other cleansers that I have enjoyed using. The Cetaphil Body Cleanser and the Aveeno Nourishing Oat Body Cleansers are great options for anyone who does have have reactive skin where you get that proper body cleansing experience but without the sensitivity. If you guys want to see more tips and recommendations for body skincare, I've made I think a few videos about it. I'll have them linked down below. Check those out if that is something that you struggle with. Up next is a body scrub. Yes, a scrub. I am recommending a scrub. I've talked about this before. I don't mind using a scrub on the body, especially in areas that tend to get 
flaky, like elbows and knees, but oftentimes I struggle to find gentle body scrubs. I feel like, you know, a lot of face scrubs are already harsh enough as is. And then when companies come to body scrubs, they're just like, oh, let's ramp it up. And they make them really intense. So most body scrubs in my experience are way too harsh, but there is one I love. It is the necessary fragrance free body exfoliator. Now this isn't the exact one, but they are sold out at like every store. And this is the body lotion, but they look the exact same. But I love this one because it's really gentle. And I feel like I'm able to get that proper exfoliating experience in the shower for a good 30 seconds without compromising my skin's barrier or increasing skin sensitivity. It's super gentle. I usually use it about maybe twice per week, but a great experience and the bottle lasts forever, especially if you're someone who only uses it like once to twice per week. One of these is gonna last you a long, long time. Next up, we have body treatments. And this is something that does hit close to home because I've talked about how I have struggled over the last year with body acne and ingrown hairs. It's primarily because of the amount of times I've been exercising and the sweat buildup, the irritation, and the inflamed pores that I get because of it. Sorry, y'all, this is the third light that has died on me when filming this video. I really need to stop using battery powered lights because this happens all the time. Anyway, moving on. So I've been on the lookout for good body treatments that are able to help combat those issues. And one of the ones I love using is the Bliss Clear Genius Body Spray. This is awesome for anyone who doesn't necessarily want the heaviness of a cream or a serum and just wants a lightweight treatment on the skin to help combat breakouts and flame pores and pimples. I love this one because it has 2% salicylic acid, which is the highest concentration of salicylic acid that you can put on your body. And salicylic acid is incredible for going deep in the pores, pushing out all the dirt, all the built up sweat. I've talked about salicylic acid for the face all the time, and it's just as effective on the body. And this one is great because it has a really nice spray that's very even that you can go all over your body, wherever you need to. It lasts a good amount of time and you can find it at Target for a really good price. I really like the Bliss Clear Genius line, but this is one of the best products that they have in their entire line, in my opinion, just because it really is, just because it really is difficult to find body products with salicylic acid that just aren't body washes or heavier body creams. And when I'm in a human environment and I don't want to feel like my skin is like greasy. This is an awesome one. I've been using it all year. I will say in order to see the results of this one, you have to be consistent. That's just the reality with salicylic acid. You're not going to see the results in one go. You have to keep using it. But when I continued using this, I noticed great results and yeah, I just love this product. On the flip side, there's a treatment exfoliating cream for the body that I love using, especially when my skin is more dry or I really need a lot of nourishment to help on my elbows or knees. It is the Skin Fix Resurface AHA BHA Renewing Cream. Now this one is again, a little bit more luxury, but you guys know how I feel about Skin Fix. If you've watched any videos where I talk about a moisturizer for dry skin, I will always recommend the Skin Fix Triple Lipid Barrier Peptide Cream. It's just an amazing product and I love the brand. And this specific body cream was one that I waited a while to use. It took me a while to get into it because I was like, I don't like body creams. I don't like my body feeling greasy. And I will say this is a bit of a richer formula. It's definitely not a lightweight cream. However, the exfoliating results that I have noticed from using this cream are amazing. And every time I use it on my elbows and knees, I instantly notice that they look more plump, they look more smooth. The skin doesn't look as rough. It helps to shed dead skin cells. And I've loved using this on the back of my arms for my keratosis pilaris, which is those little like pigmented bumps and spots that you see on the back of your arms. I do struggle with that. And this one is great for helping with that, but it doesn't feel too invasive. It's not the richest body moisturizer I've ever used, but it definitely is on the thicker side. And especially as I've been traveling for work and been in drier climates, this has been my friend. I love using this one. And because of how massive it is, it lasts a really, really long time. This one includes a 5% blend of AHAs and BHAs. And although Skin Fix is fragrance free, this does include some citrus extracts. I believe it has 1% lime extract, which can be irritating if you have like extremely sensitive skin. But for the majority of people, a citrus extract is not the same as an essential oil and you're really not likely to see any irritation. I personally haven't. And most of all, I love this because it's kind of like a two-in-one product. You get your treatment and you get your moisture. And then if you are someone who is like, Hiram, I want to moisturize my body, but I hate the feeling of greasiness. I don't want my skin to feel sticky. I don't want it to look wet. My skin or environment isn't really that dry. I just want to use a body moisturizer. I would recommend the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Body Gel. I've talked about this one in the past and I really do enjoy using it because of how lightweight it is. This really is not your heavy, thick, greasy cream. It feels very much like a gel moisturizer and it sinks into the skin, but has good ingredients to help seal in that hydration and maintain that body moisture for a long time. And the last body product I have to recommend and definitely not the least, it may be, mm, I'd say it's top three favorites. The Mamalani Keala deodorant. I have used this one for years now, and it is the best deodorant I have ever used in my entire life. I think I've talked about it before. It's an amazing product. When it comes to natural deodorants, I have never really found a natural deodorant that works for me. And when I talk to a lot of people, there's kind of a similar sentiment out there. A lot of these natural deodorants claim to be really effective, but oftentimes one, don't do anything, or two, make you smell even
even worse. And when it comes to deodorants, I don't think there's any pressing need for you to use a natural one versus like a regular one. I think there's a lot of fear mongering and not much science in the way that companies go about promoting a natural deodorant over an aluminum one. But I have noticed that with aluminum ones, it sometimes stains the underarm area or they're just really, really fragranced. Sometimes the point of annoyance, when for me, I'm like, I just want a deodorant that's going to be effective and doesn't smell overly strong. And this one is amazing. It is a beeswax based formula. I'm honestly shocked that it is as effective as it is given the simplicity of the formula because it's a very simple natural ingredient list. It has a slight lemongrass scent, but it will withstand the most sweaty of days. I swear there are days where I am dripping in sweat after working out and I smell my underarms and I don't smell anything. It still smells like the deodorant. And I've ordered so many of these just because of how well it works. Another cool thing, Mamalani is a native Hawaiian owned brand, which I always love looking for opportunities to support native Hawaiian businesses. Friendly packaging, like by the end of it, it is kind of beat up. However, I never really have any issues when it comes to applying it. And I love that I can just recycle it afterwards. No issues and feel good about the packaging. And of course, like I said before, if you are interested in getting any of these products, all the affiliate links will be listed in the description box below. And I would really appreciate it if you shop from them. Whew, okay, I'm gonna cut this video short because I have to film another one right after this. I am completing all of the best of 2021 skincare videos. If you are interested in seeing what my other products are that I recommend, the best ones from this year, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see what videos are coming out soon. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.